She looks 16, but at the same time, she looks 50. I'm gonna add a red overlay. All right, now you can really feel the edginess. So we have this from Person one Wow, very beautiful. Heterochromia eye. Info, her name is D, short for her real name. What? What is her real name? She has a calm but sometimes protective personality. She is like, eh. Don't worry about it. Vibes. She is half demon, half human. Ooh, I can tell. I would be very happy if you chose her. Well, prepare to be happy because I chose you. But that is a lot of design. I don't know how I'm gonna yassify it when it's already yassified to the max. But I love me a good challenge. First thing you wanna do is sketch the pose. Now, I chose this as my reference because it's like super edgy. And so far, she looks like dried up ball. So this is my tip for y'all. If you wanna draw poses like this, look at the outside. Let me explain. Look at her back. Not even gonna lie, her back is literally just a bird. Tatakai. It's just two strokes, bro. Bottom line is, you can simplify the whole pose into just shape. What about the torso right here? It's just a very weird looking drawing. Illuminati. Oh, and look at her arm on the right. If you trace the outline of the arm and the legs, it's literally just an L. Ligma. Ligma balls. Now, here I am implementing my genius realizations. Remember, it's all just shapes. So, essentially, that is my secret to drawing poses. It's another useful tip. I learned from being chronically online. Anyway, let's just draw the clothes now. She's wearing these jumper shorts, I believe. I don't know what they're called, but you know, whatever. This is the finished sketch. Let's just make her feet bigger. I love feet. So we got this tool from Clip Studio. So I'm gonna use this tool and look at what this does. I'm just gonna select the whole thing and boom, it's like AI or something. It only colors the inside of your drawing. Anyway, I'm just gonna speed this up for you. I'm just putting the base colors. Okay, look, since we have a lot of color going on, I'm gonna put a violet-ish color on top to basically unite everything. I don't know. It just looks more tied together that way, I guess. Next, let's airbrush at the bottom, like this. Gives a nice gradient look, you know? Aesthetic. Now, this is what it looks like. Before you render, you wanna fix any deformities. I love liquify. It's like my holy grail. Do you guys know that Clip Studio can liquify multiple layers now? Take my money. Okay, link in the description. Not sponsored. Anyway, let's start putting the blushies. I love blushies. And then the heterochromia eyes. Oh wow, she's very quirky and unique. Okay, wait, so like she also has a scar apparently? Wow, bro really put everything into a single character. Peak character design. Okay, so I don't know what's off, but something is off. She looks 16, but at the same time, she looks 50. Maybe it's because of her eyes? I'm not really sure. Anyway, we can't say her face is already yassified without adding in the eyelashes. Smegzy. Bro, look at the before and after. Before and after yassification. That's crazy. Next, we want to block out the shadows. Bro, I am not shading with red, okay? I'm just making it so that your tiny brain can follow. So, if the light is on the left, you put the shading on the right, obviously, big brain. But you want to group the shadows like the drawing is actually 3D. Then we can just press multiply and then change the color to like this purple-ish color. Okay, that is not purple. I'm just stupid. But, you know, whatever this color is. I don't know. Magenta or something. Alright, that looks looks way better than period blood red. Next thing I do is I use a very warm color and airbrush this soft light on her skin so she looks glowing. Ooh, Korean glass skin who? Anyway, another W for Clip Studio Paint is this beautiful and very sexy multiple layer eraser. So if I just want to erase some excess stuff without going through all the layers and basically just make her silhouette hotter, just use this eraser bro. It erases on all the layers. And that is why Clip Studio Paint is on Top. Our next step is to add highlights. Now, this is very necessary if you don't want a flat drawing. I guess just put some highlights on her hair or something, and then on her arm, like this. And also, let's just put some creases on her clothing. You just wanna give her more volume, you know? But obviously, after that, we put the shadows in there. Okay, so I don't know what I wanna do next. I really haven't thought this through. Okay, I'm gonna try to like duplicate her and then just use the transform tool. Shazam! I'm trying to make her shadow, but it looks like crap. We need to like make the shadow dark. Okay, why does her shadow look like a chicken? No way. Delete. Okay, so I really gotta stop being lazy because I literally could have just done this and this looks way better. Anyway, let's pull out our reference. I'm gonna draw the boots. Her boots are very edgy. She's quirky like that. Okay, so I don't really know how that would translate here, but let's try. Okay, let's do the spikes real quick. As you can see, I am very bad at doing the details, but that is okay because all I gotta do is click this button and boom. It's just 
basically added an outline and now it looks a bit cleaner hell yeah so for the hair if the hair is tied up in a ponytail like this basically just shade it like this like it's being pulled back it follows this direction just follow it okay okay so fast forward i added some more details here's another tip that i learned from rhino tuna i think reno tuna so i'm gonna select the wing like this the wing that's at the back okay and i'm gonna airbrush a light blue color what that does is basically give the illusion that is far away it's like when mountains get farther away they get lighter i mean i don't know you should probably use it in moderation but i am definitely not doing that i'm also gonna do that on the legs right here and yeah here's the before and after lastly i just used this brush i will link it below i used this brush to blur the wings like this very subtle yet very sexy yeah let's just add a background yeah so i don't really know about this yellow orange color it's giving morning piss oh crap i almost forgot she got that swaggy swag crown pin on her hair very swag indeed and yeah final result wow this has to be like in the top three most colorful cooling artworks who would have thought okay just watch this speed paint real quick and then we'll proceed to the bonus also just some advice for beginners please do not overcrowd your oc's design because no matter how swag that crown pin is less is more or you can just do what you want whatever i'm not your boss anyway next apple head o okay okay wow did bro just yasify a cat uh first of all i love your ability to turn this into a hot k-pop man you need some serious skills for that okay this time let's do it on procreate let's just sketch the base real quick okay and then let's just add a hair and now it's time for the apple and then let's add the glasses and a separate layer whatever okay picasso okay now let's color so i'm just gonna color pick his skin because the coloring is pretty good anyway bam color drop let's just add the base colors real quick okay so it's just the same procedure as the last artwork except this time we're gonna sell shade kind of okay so let's just prepare for that all right now we put the shadows i want the shadows to be harsh so i actually found this it's ai art but i'm gonna tell you how to shade like this so for this we're using harsh shadows okay and a darker color we're not gonna blend it okay now the whole part we're just gonna shade it and now i'm gonna change the color of the line art now it's kind of more reddish now instead of black and that is so it blends in with the drawing so it's not edgy enough so we're gonna add a red overlay all right now you can really feel the edginess now i did say to make the shadows harsh but for the face we gotta make the face baby we gotta make it soft so you want to soften the edges like on the cheeks just soften it up bro okay so this is what it looks like after rendering it looks all right however it looks very plain so what we need to do is add the white highlight the white highlight on the eyes and on the nose and that ladies and gentlemen is the secret to making it juicy look at how much life it has now that there's a highlight now for the hair we're not gonna blend this is where we're doing the cell shading kind of you only really need two colors for this the shadow and the light part now for this part we're basically just shading triangles using using our shadow color okay done now for the apple i will not bother explaining my process over here because i have absolutely no idea what the heck i was doing the only thing i really liked doing was this blue highlight over here color theory 100 and then lastly i just added like a gradient below like what i did a while ago and yeah this was just really a bonus i did this in like 30 minutes there's just a quick speed paint for that yeah anyway thank you for making it till the end watch this next and i'll see you there stay cool